right now we're going to be talking about chapter 19 of anatomy and physiology about the RH factor and how that can affect pregnancy and a disease called hemolytic disease of the newborn. Now we learned that antigens are little marker molecules on a red blood cell that mark it as it being its own. So a type A person is going to have a certain type of antibodies. A type B person is going to have different shape antibodies. Type A and B is going to have two different types and type O is not going to have any at all. Now one that's not on this chart is the RH antigen. So since A is represented by circles, type B is represented by triangles, and type AB is represented by both, let's just make the RH um, representative of a square, because that's the simplest. So this will be the RH antigen. So let's say some, and then in, um, in, when you're actually classifying whether or not someone has this antigen, we don't say, um, like let's say they have type A and RH, they're not going to be called type ARH, they're going to be called R, they're going to be called A positive. Now if you have the RH antigen, it's called positive, and if you do not have it, you are considered negative. It is more common for people to actually have this antigen than to not have it. So let's um, draw a little picture real quick. So let's say someone was A positive. What would that look like? Well, they'd have the A antigen, which is a circle. So they'd have a circle, and they'd also have, they do have, since they're A positive, they would have the RH, so they would also have the square antigen. So this matters um, in pregnancy because we know that when you have a certain type of antigens, your antibodies are going to be the opposite of whatever you are. So in the case of type O, they don't have any antigens at all. So in their bloodstream, they're going to have antigens against all the other shapes. So they're going to have antigens against type A, the circles, type, and against type B, the triangles. Now if this person is O negative, meaning they do not have A or B or RH, then they're going to have, they're additionally going to have antibodies against the square shape as well in their bloodstream since they would have, if they were O negative, they would have neither A nor B nor the square. So this is a problem in the case of when a mother gets pregnant. If a mother who is type O negative were to get pregnant, let's say, well, because everyone, when you have a baby, you don't know what your blood type of your baby is going to be. For example, I actually am type O negative, and that's one of um, the more rare type of bloods. But this is something that I have to be aware of um, in case I ever do have a child. Um, for example, if I have a baby, I don't know what the baby's blood type is going to be. It could potentially be A positive. Let's just go with that. Now, um, if my child is A positive and I am O negative, meaning I do not have any antigens, that means in my bloodstream I have antigens against, against type A, the circles, against type B, the triangles, and against the RH, which is the squares. Now if my child has is A positive, that means on its cell it has circles and squares. And notice I have, an I have antibodies that go against both of those shapes, circles and squares over here. So the Inside of the womb, there's a little um, membrane that goes all the way around the baby to protect it, you know, to keep it separate from the mother. But we know that um, there's oftentimes the mother gives nutrients back to the baby, and sometimes there's an interchange of blood. Um, and if at any time my, my bloodstream were to enter into the baby's bloodstream, maybe through the placenta, which is the membrane, um, or through the umbilical cord, it's possible that some of my antibodies that are in my bloodstream, like here's a, a drawing of it, here's an antibody that's in the maternal's bloodstream. If somehow my blood gets into the baby's blood, then it is possible that my antibodies would start attacking the red blood cells of the child. Because remember, 
I have antibodies against A and RH, which is what the baby has. So in that situation, it is possible that my antibodies would start to attack the blood cells of my child, and this can result in what's called hemolytic disease of the newborn. Now, hemolytic means the breakdown of red blood cells. Hemo meaning blood, like hemoglobin, and lytic comes from the word lysis, L-Y-S-I-S, which means to break down or destroy. So we don't, we don't actually want this to happen. We don't want um, our baby's blood cells to be attacked or broken down because um, that can lead to like kind of an anemic reaction um, and the baby can have some serious health problems later on in life. So this may sound depressing, but um, doctors have figured out something that they can do to um, prevent this from happening. What they do is they give an injection of what's called Rogam to, to the mother, and this can help, um, it inactivates the, the RH antigens, and so that my actual, my antibodies don't end up attacking the baby. So this is, um, this is what the RH factor is, and this is how it works with hemolytic disease of the newborn.